Hey guys, this is Volen, In Pursuit of Art. I wanted to make this video to give you guys some encouragement. I wanted to show you where I started from, when I started, and for those of you that are wondering if this is something that they could do, I wanted to make this encouraging for you. Um, I wanted to show you that it doesn't matter where you are in your life, it doesn't matter when you start, it doesn't even matter what you think about yourself and what you're capable of, as long as you do the work and as long as you keep yourself responsible and consistent, this is something that anyone can do. I made a little video to show you when I started. This is something I have on the screen just so you can see where I was last year and I'm showing you this because if I started with the video then you guys probably wouldn't want to stick around for the end of it because it would seem like I would have nothing to offer. So this is the year 2011. I must have been about 23 years old maybe, 23, 24, whatever. Um, this is when I first just decided to give it a try. So I wasn't really learning, I wasn't even trying to learn. This is just when I first found out about drawing. So up until that point, I never really was interested at all in anything visual. I used to read a lot, I used to write, So and I did a degree in university that I pretty much just passed by writing stuff. It was a digital art degree, funnily enough, but all I did was write. But at least there, I just sort of, for the first time, I was exposed to visual stuff, and I became interested, not because it was interesting to me, but because I sucked at it so much. And this is my first sketchbook, 20th of February, 2011, with a loving message on it that really shows how I felt about it and what it was like for me. Now drawing wasn't something that I felt compelled to do, it was just something that I was terrible at and it was a challenge for me. So I realized that it was a different way of communicating that I'd never experienced and I saw a lot of potential in it or at least a different potential because by that point I was really tired of reading, everything seemed repetitive to me but I guess that was just me choosing the same, the same things over and over. Anyway though at that point I was ready for a change. so. 24 years old, this is my first sketchbook. It looks like the sketchbook of a four-year-old that I beat up and stole and then just put my name on it, but it's mine. The thing is, if you were 24 years old, this should not be something that looks like it's stole from a four-year-old. I mean, there is no evidence at all that I could prove that this is mine because it doesn't look like it should be. So, first time trying stuff out. This is what I did, all right? Maybe not for maybe three years old. This is what I did. This was my best work because it wasn't really work. It was just trying stuff out. So at this point, I wasn't really trying to teach myself or trying to learn. I wasn't determined or trying to do this in any way. I was merely trying stuff out and it was really frustrating, but I was happy to do it because it was a challenge. It was something I couldn't do and I sucked at it and I failed every single day and it made me miserable but it was something that really helped me develop character because up to that point everything I did was I wouldn't want to call it successful but I was good at stuff. Anything I tried I was good at it but I was only trying stuff that I was good at. I used to go to the gym, I used to read and write and whatever else so I, all the things that I chose to do consistently I was good at. I was lifting weights since I was 14 and then I was reading books since like 16 or 7 so years of experience basically made me good at those things without even trying so this is the first thing look at this guy this is the first thing that I tried that I was terrible at and it showed me how to develop skill so this is something that we've all done we've all developed skills in life but we might not be explicitly aware of how we did it. So to me, there was, this was very valuable. And to be honest with you, it's not really about art. In Pursuit of Art, to me, is a challenge. So for me, that was, should I be pigeonholed into doing stuff that I maybe don't necessarily enjoy? Or can I do anything? Because if I can pick the thing that I'm worst at and become good at it, to me, that means that anyone can do anything. I picked the worst thing at a late age with no guidance, no help. I didn't even know the words for what I'm trying to do. So when I was drawing stuff, I used to call it drawing stuff. I used to, for 2012, last year, 
I was doing some 3D. I was trying some different stuff out. I still wasn't really trying to learn. I was just trying different things out. But I didn't even know what I was missing. So when I would do 3D and I couldn't do anything because I didn't know to use reference. I didn't know that stuff doesn't just come out of your head. I didn't know that to model something you need to have an idea of what you're going to model, right? So this is someone completely unfamiliar with the process of anything relating to any of the different spheres of art. And so this was all 2011, the sketchbook we just saw. This is 2012. So 2012, doing some 3D, still playing around with stuff, not really determined, not really deciding this is what I'm going to do. It's just playing around and you can see this is I think September let's say this is about September so September and this is up to December it's not really a drawing so this is September to December and this is pretty much most of the work I've done now I was probably doing like 3d or whatever else but painting wise art wise this is all I've done so this is the level that I was at and to show you how little I understood of anything this is actually something I put in my portfolio I was at a time sending out portfolios for design or whatever because I, again I didn't know anything about anything so I thought since I work for this company that I do pictures for and stuff and I do mean just very basic stuff, just Photoshop stuff no art at all so I, I had this on the back of my portfolio because it sort of looked like something to me I had zero understanding of quality of work or I don't know I just I, I painted this with no reference so imagination sort of I it's not even that I put it there for quality I just did not understand what it's supposed to look like or what it's supposed to be so to me this just sort of looked like something so in a sense it's a picture so it's you know it's something but just no understanding of quality or anything else this is another imagination thing it sort of looked like a mountain so I called it mountain zero understanding of any principles it's not just the principles that need understanding though it's just no understanding of the process of what it takes to build something so I was just trying to copy stuff and you can see over here I would make color swatches from the picture and I would just try to copy the shapes which I wasn't good at at all even copying basic stuff I was terrible at and I still have trouble with like um, proportions I normally make things too big I have difficulty just seeing stuff as I'm doing things I can't really see them I need to back away and get back to it but bad sen no sensitivity to shape uh, no understanding of the process as you can see I just I didn't know where to start or what to do so this was far too complex for me to attempt but at the same time I didn't know what to practice or what level I'm at or what I should be doing that is productive so I would just be randomly trying stuff out mostly feeling super frustrated and also feeling the pressure of now being what 25 or whatever I was at that time and not having a skill that I want to have and my life is sort of on pause because this is what I was going towards for doing so I still wasn't sure I was going to do this but next year I started doing it so just trying to copy shapes no attention to texture or anything this is too difficult for me at the moment not trying to um, suggest materials but just copying pieces of color so there's this lighter piece and then there's there's darker piece and I'm just trying to duplicate them I'm not trying to understand planes or do aerial perspective anything like that I'm just copying shapes because to me this is still the mystery of how do you make something look like something I still remember doing this one more than two years ago now and I was surprised at the cartoony effect sort of the stylized cartoon effect that you might have like in a video game I remember there was a first person shooter that had this thing with like a very cartoony over the top style and this is when I realized that if you simplify detail you get this but um, still trying to copy things very precisely and exactly but not having the sensitivity to do so like this darker value this is my attempt to match it obviously it's darker but as simple as it seems to see that when you're doing it it's not as simple so practice basically drives principles into automation so that you can 
do things without having to think about so many different things because at this point right here I'm thinking about the actual shapes which are hard for me to copy so as you can see just doing just putting the shape in the right place and making it the right size is too difficult for me I can't do that and I also have to think about the brightness of the shape um, and then if there was texture on top of that too I wouldn't be able to handle all that complexity so just very basic step-by-step -step things but I don't know about that yet I don't know that they're basic step by step. I only know I'm just trying stuff and it's terrible. Terrible. It feels disgusting. I remember the feeling from the drawing was just like, ah, I can't believe that I'm doing this. So I just kept doing it. So this is 2011. Only a few drawings. I was really happy with this one because it sort of looks like any time that something looked sort of like something, it was great. This one was great too for me because there was a whole lot of different values so there was like a black and there's like a super white and it's not it's not a this isn't a portrait this is just making stuff look like stuff so I was really happy with this one because it was showing me hey if you do the right stuff you can get the right result but there's still a lot more that needs to go into that that I'm not even aware of but this is where I started from and I hope you guys take this as whatever age you're at, whatever you're doing in your life. If this is something you want to do, anyone can do it. Don't listen to people about talent. Uh, don't be listening to anyone telling you what you can and can't do if you're too old or, too, or that you needed to have started when you were like three or three months old or, or before fetus stage. Your mom should, while she was pregnant, your mom should have been drawing. Now, this is imagination stuff so both copying just copying stuff and imagination completely no idea no understanding of procedure or anything else so this is 2012 I'll quickly show you 2013 and just compare the amount of work so this is 2012 you can see all the thumbs in in, in one screen and then this is 2013 when I decided I'm gonna do this so this is January starting here and this is all the thumbnails. This is without all the sketchbooks and other things I've kept at that time. So this is partly the work that 2013 was made of. So I'll show you that in the next video. But this one, just some encouragement for you guys. I challenge you to show me someone who started off as bad as I did. There is no way that you could have done worse work even if you were blind I guess you could do better show me the worst you have and it can't possibly be as bad as mine was I'll see you in the next one and I'll show you the progress over a year when I decided to stick with this thing